Hey! How you doing? Normally at the MBX Films Theater we'd open up a Star Wars action figure, but today I just wanted to talk about uh, this accessory with Aunt Beru, this blue milk. Because I hear a lot of talk about blue milk these days. Used to just be a joke uh, when just the original Star Wars movies were out that Luke and his aunt and uncle were having their little dinner talk and they were drinking blue milk. It was just kind of a funny detail that, ooh, it's different, it's alien, it's from a bantha or something like that. And then recently, Disney World has the blue milk drink in their Star Wars area. You can, you can buy a glass of blue milk and drink it and it's just named after that little weird instance of food and such in the original movies. So, I see a lot of copycat recipes out, making it some sort of fruit smoothie or something weird and crazy like that, I just wanted to share a quick and easy way that I used to do this as a kid. It's so dumb and stupid and easy, you'll think, why are you even doing this? And to you I say, shut up. So anyway, look at my super futuristic Star Wars cup. It's Star... it looks like a Star War. I don't know. Some of you might say, isn't that just an empty Parmesan cheese container? And to you, I also say, maybe you could, you should shut your mouth and, and be quiet. Uh, just to do some semblance of recipe, just for measurements, I will do uh, cups, just to see. Get some milk. This is, this is just milk. You don't have to get Bantha milk. You can use whatever milk you want. It's a terrible place to do this. Let's do two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. Because why not? Cup, please don't let me spill any of it in here. This is where I open my action figure stuff. I don't really want milk smell all over. And now the super stupid, simple, easy ingredient that will turn this milk blue. Ah! M&M's! You're dumb! You didn't think of it. Maybe you did, but I'm doing it on the video now, so too bad. I used to do this all the time as a kid. You'd use M&M, you drink milk with M&M, and you put the M&M inside the milk. There's different colors. Did you know this? All right, so we're gonna target the blue. Der. And we're gonna see how many it takes to get a good blue tint to our milk. So we can drink Star Warsy milk and pretend we're Luke on the farm having a glass before he has to leave his home because his family dies. But anyway, count these M&Ms out. Fun times. Uh, so you know, there's there, it's like an edible dye. I mean, you eat M&Ms. Don't sit in there and tell me, oh, that's bad for you. It's it's colored dye. You eat M&Ms. Don't lie. If you don't eat M&Ms, then just leave. All right, we're gonna try a few at a time so I can give you kind of a measurement how many you'll need to dye the milk a color. One, two, three, four, five. We'll say six, eight, nine, ten. Five M&Ms a cup, and we'll see how that goes. Normally I'd just kind of wait, I'd be eating my M&M's, snacking. But since we're doing a super scientific experiment to make Star Wars Blue Milk, I want to kind of get an accurate measurement of how many we need. Normally I just twirl it around to spin it, but I have my scientific hydrospanner tool from Star Wars. No, it is not just a spoon. Well, stir it up. Oh, the smell of the M&M's in the bag. God, I just want to eat a bunch of them now. So in the movie it was kind of a light blue color. We even have the toy here we can kind of look at for kind of a comparison. You can see at the bottom that there's still a lot of blue dye at the bottom on the M&Ms. It's slowly getting in there. If you're making this treat for yourself or having a little Star Wars party and you want to sit around and drink milk for some reason, just make this ahead of time. Give them plenty of time to dissolve all the dye off the M&Ms. I'd say it's it's fairly blue with just five M&Ms per cup, which is a pretty good ratio. I'm gonna go crazy here and double it. Five more and five more. Just to speed up my own process. But we don't want it solid blue because it was just a light blue color in the movie. And if you're trying to recreate kind of a, the Disney version also. So this is just going to taste like a kind of a sweet milk because that dye is just an edible dye. It doesn't have a chocolate flavor or anything. Because M&M's melt in your mouth, not in your... Wait, what's that got to do with where the chocolate is? 
Anyway, all the chocolate's inside the shell. There's no chocolate flavor. This is not making blue chocolate milk. This is just going to taste like a sweeter milk. I mean, it's it's mostly just gonna be milk, because that's blue, but... Could you just use food dye? Yeah, but this is my M&M method, so... Once again, please stop saying things that counteract what I'm trying to do here! Why are you here? Anyway, we're stirring the milk. We have kind of our dye melting off of the M&M's. And of course you could strain out the M&M's when this is done so that they're not in there, but there's just a little chocolatey tree at the bottom. They're fine without the color. I mean, they're not going to look great. They're going to look pretty ghostly, but they're still edible. I don't waste them. It's just chocolate. Be sure to use in-date milk and not rotten milk. This milk is so blue now. It's, it's fresh off the moisture farm. Fresh off the, the Bantha... I don't want to say the word, it sounds dirty. It's fresh blue milk. Just made with M&M's, you don't got to do crazy uh, smoothie rice milk crazy cuckoo crazy stuff. It's milk and M&M's, bingo. Blue milk. Who would want blue milk made with fresh fruits and vegetables when you can have artificial dye? Welcome to the... I'm going to drink it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Tastes like milk? Actually, no, it tastes exactly like the real blue milk from Star Wars is what it tastes like. In your face. Actually, Mark Hamill said the on-set blue milk tasted horrible, so... It doesn't taste like actual prop blue milk. It tastes like the fictional delicious blue milk in the Star Wars universe. Gotcha. This milk's just getting bluer and bluer. You only need five a cup. To really get it because you just got to be patient and let the uh let the dye get off there and mix into your milk blue milk if you wanna I usually don't do food recipes but i usually open up star wars toys and other stuff and talk about cool nerdy stuff or collectibles like that so just consider subscribing if you've watched this far and not ran off to drink your delicious blue milk oh did you want to see me open aunt beru might as well i mean i got a delicious cup of milk here hmm. oh yeah i can open aunt beru i don't care I'm gonna eat some M&M's though, I've been waiting. You could make brown milk, that's never been done before. Oh wait. You can make pink milk, it's not gonna turn the milk red, so keep dreaming if that's what you wanted. You can make yellow milk. Yeah. Or you can make your own fan fiction movie and have orange milk and you'll, you'll, everybody will love your, uh, your fan film or something or whatever. I don't know. Green milk from The Last Jedi. Home. Oh. A little bit of Amber. What? Oh god, I was trying to draw some comparison to Anakin's mom in the episode one. Coming soon. This this was, you'd buy this in hype of episode one. Like a fool not knowing that what it, the movie was really like. Kind of like me. Alright, let's, uh, we're gonna open up Amber. Why not? I was gonna open this anyway. Ha ha! Ooh! Boy, hang on to this. This is the most exciting, uh, yeah, well, we don't need that part. We just need Amber, ooh, because she, oh my god, I've lost the cup of milk. Not this one. Where's my milk? We found it. Here's a delectable cup of blue milk in action figure form. It's literally a blue plastic peg, but anyway. Here's the, the container. Look at its space age shape. If you wanted to recreate the the milk container, there's the shape. You, for, for if you're gonna make my amazing recipe <laughs> for blue milk, Aunt Baru here. Sorry, we have to lift up your skirt, honey. She just has just the normal pants and such, but can't really move her legs a whole lot since she has her dress thing. Torso does move, so she has that. That's a bonus point. That's not just a straight five points. She doesn't come with a blaster, which I don't know why not. She'd be able to plug some. <laughs> Sand people or something. Uh, can she hold her thing? Oh yeah, so this, she can hold this like she's dumping it all out. Like a, don't know what she's doing. She pour you a glass of blue milk. Just, just use the m ms oh, bro. Okay, but pretty cool. I'm gonna gladly add this to my New Hope uh, lineup collection. She looks pretty good for just being a, you know, an older release or a basic release, but absolute bonus. She comes with freaking Treadwell droid. I'm sure he's uh, in the background in the actual movie, but then there's a deleted scene where Luke is with this dude and Luke's seeing, uh, he doesn't seem to do much. 
And he does move that way. Luke's with his buddy Treadwheel Droid, <laughs> and they see the the Star Destroyer uh, firing at the Princess Leia's ship. I did a parody of the scene with a voiceover for Treadwell Droid on this channel. You can watch that. A lot of people were not fans of that parody, so I don't know what's wrong with them. Learn to laugh, my friends. But yeah, this is a great accessory for her. I mean, it's almost a two-in-one figure. Not, not that he does a whole lot, but another little droid that's in the background of the movie. This is like an awesome set. This is like, it's when they were really beefing up the Star Wars figures and leaning towards that super articulated, but here we're just super accessory laden. Does anybody ever give credit to Aunt Brew for bringing denim into the Star Wars clothing universe? <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. And what's more awesome than that is blue milk. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, God! Now I have to drink two cups of milk. I'm gonna be sick. Thanks for joining me.